that's just one of those moments that you know it happened and uh, I'll never forget it and I never mm -hmm. I wouldn't I mean I wouldn't change anything about some of those events yeah that's a great story yeah, it is. yeah so um the, I was talking about Earnhardt causing some accidents causing for wrecks whatever what about the uh, 1986 Richmond race when uh, DW and Earnhardt got into a, a wreck or well it was it was another one of those moments you can ask terry labonte about these kind of moments i just mm -hmm. meant to rattle his cage a little bit yeah earnhardt told us he said i didn't i didn't think i was going to hit him mm -hmm. well how do you think you weren't going to hit him you, you know you turned mm -hmm. you turned just as hard as you could to to the left mm -hmm. and caught him in the right rear quarter panel yeah. i mean there was no yes and the butts about it but he uh he did he the, the kind of set the story up we're racing at richmond Earnhardt is you know about blocking Daryl and you know Junior's getting frustrated because he was up on top of a wrecker first time he'd ever got left the pits and gotten up high to watch a race old Richmond Fairgrounds you know half mile track and all of a sudden he kept watching Earnhardt you know chop Daryl I mean we had a better car but he couldn't quite get position and Junior called Daryl uh, as he come off of turn three he said Daryl Pass that car. I pass him now. And Junior obeyed. Mm -hmm. He got down in turn one right there, and he dove underneath him and you know, moved him up out of the groove. And when they turned coming up off of turn two, that's about time we got into going into three. Earnhardt hooked him in the right rear court panel and turned him in the outside wall and tore all of us up. I mean, mm -hmm. he wrecked like three or four cars in that one wreck. But yeah. uh, it was just, uh, as Earnhardt would say, it was just bad timing. Mm, yeah yeah right yep. <laughs> that's a hard hit too and there's it, a lot of cars they piled into that oh it, it it tore that car up i mean big time and the guardrails are like can openers mm. i mean they just they just really do a hard hard you don't have a whole lot left when you got get hooked in that because it grabs parts of the suspension rips everything loose and that's what what it did mm. did anybody ever get mouthy with junior um talking back drivers not not you well uh Daryl got mal with Mally with him one time at um, North Wilkesboro. Mm -hmm. We had made a pit stop, and it wasn't a good pit stop. And the decisions that we made on the tires and like that is, you know, Daryl was being opinionated, yeah, and he was telling that. Junior, you know, this, 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 and that, 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 and you know, Junior finally said enough. Right there, he said, Daryl, it's real simple. You want to drive my race car? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to run the pits? You make your mind up. And if you want to run the pits, you bring the car in here. I'll find somebody that wants to drive for me. Mm. So it. that pretty much, you know, put the end to that. Yeah. Fix that chain of command. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, <laughs> Daryl is a very dominant type of personality. And uh, it takes a stronger personality, you know, to keep him under control. But when you keep him under control, what you get is a pretty good race car driver. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I mean, I had a boy that worked for me. Um, and uh, I'm trying to remember what Roger's last name was. Uh, it escapes, escapes me right now. But long story short, we were working on the car one day, and Daryl was running his mouth. And Roger looked at him and said, work your hands, not your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I never seen Daryl shut up so fast in my life. Yeah. I was like, how can you talk to me like that? And yeah. He did. And I swear, I like, made me, I laughed. I think everybody on the crew got a big laugh. I just work your hands, not your mouth. He earned brownie points with that one. He did. He did. I think we took him out to lunch the next day. <laughs> Monday evening at 7 o'clock, Racing Roots with Ham. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.